Canada refuses to pay for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Vancouver security once they step down as full-time royals, so WHO will. Canada will stop paying to protect the Duke and Duchess of Sussex when they leave public life next month, the country's public safety minister has revealed, leaving questions over who will foot the pair's estimated pound 20 million annual security bill. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are expected to live mainly in North America after Megxit at the end of March and the local authorities had previously said they would shoulder a share of the bill along with the British Metropolitan Police. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau assured the Queen when Megxit was announced in January that Harry and Meghan would be kept safe while living in his country. But tonight the Office of the Minister of Public Safety said Canada had stepped in to provide security only because they had to with the royals being designated internationally protected people, and when their status changed so would the arrangement. The ministry's statement read, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex choosing to relocate to Canada on a part-time basis presented our government with a unique and unprecedented set of circumstances. The RCMP, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, has been engaged with officials in the UK from the very beginning regarding security considerations. As the Duke and Duchess are currently recognized as internationally protected persons, Canada has an obligation to provide security assistance on an as-needed basis. At the request of the Metropolitan Police, the RCMP has been providing assistance to the Met since the arrival of the Duke and Duchess to Canada intermittently since November 2019. The assistance will cease in the coming weeks, in keeping with their change in status. It was unclear tonight whether the couple would now foot a larger share of their own security bill or if British taxpayers will be left to foot it. Buckingham Palace declined to comment on the development as did Scotland Yard with a spokeswoman saying we don't discuss matters of security. It had previously been estimated that security costs for the couple would drop it to £20 million. In January Mr Trudeau said the Canadian government had not really been involved in any negotiations around the couple's arrangement in Canada. But he did highlight that any such details would be confidential. He also assured the Queen that the family would be safe while in his country, with Canada expected to pay around half of the annual bill. Tensions have been rising in recent weeks as questions continued to arise as to who would pay for their security costs. The Canadian Taxpayers' Federation had previously given a petition with 80,000 signatures to the Prime Minister's office insisting that Canadian taxpayer money should not be given to Harry and Meghan. They are due to officially leave the British monarchy on March 31. Di Davis, who led the Met's Royalty Protection Unit, said, It's the first time in 300 years of royalty protection that anyone has ever done this to a member of the royal family. There are two options now for them and us, that the Met will carry on guarding them and footing the bill, which is unacceptable to many, or they agree a system where they make a contribution to the costs personally. But their statement doesn't seem to suggest they would wish to do that. With budget straining at the moment, this is a huge problem that the Met will have to get a grip on and quickly. Harry and Meghan are entitled to 24-7 taxpayer-funded protection at home and abroad as members of the royal family, whether on official duties or on holiday. The couple believe this should continue, but Scotland Yard have privately insinuated that they are not in the position to write an open-ended check for round-the-clock security if the couple are living abroad. Former Home Office Minister Norman Baker called for the Met Police to cap the annual expenditure on security for Harry and Meghan to its 2019 level, with any extra costs met by the couple or the Queen and Prince of Wales. Security sources previously said that there is no agreement or concrete plan in place when it comes to who will actually fund their security team. On Tuesday royal experts criticized Harry and Meghan's unsustainable security plans and warned costs could spiral out of control as the predicted bill rocketed to £20 million a year. Experts claimed the couple's jet-set lifestyle and move to Canada could leave the police unable to cope as they undertake trips to various countries in order to establish their own brand away from the British monarchy. Royal author Phil Dampier told Mail Online. The cost of security was always going to be a major problem for Harry and Meghan and it doesn't surprise me that the bill seems to be going up and up. 
The traveling they do around North America is going to put an immense strain on resources as both they and their son Archie need to be protected 24-7 and Scotland Yard detectives will tend to work shifts of two weeks on two weeks off. If you add the costs of them having to travel to and from the UK for leave it could spiral out of control and become absolutely ridiculous. So in the long term I don't think it is sustainable. Harry Meghan and their son Archie have been in different locations over the last few months and officers are believed to be drafting new plans to double their protection team. They have previously been criticized for their carbon-heavy jet-set lifestyle despite frequently flaunting their eco-credentials. In a statement last week Prince Harry and Meghan said they will continue to require effective security to protect them and their son. They sparked fury by insisting the taxpayer should cough up based on the Duke's public profile by virtue of being born a royal, his military service, the Duchess's independent profile. Harry and Meghan's new website has a question and answer section for visitors, and in response to the posed question does their future financial autonomy extend to covering the costs of security? The site attempts to give an explanation. It states, the provision of armed security by the Metropolitan Police is mandated by the Home Office, a ministerial department of Her Majesty's government, responsible for security and law and order. In an update to the website published last week, the portal adds, it is agreed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will continue to require effective security to protect them and their son. This is based on the Duke's public profile by virtue of being born into the royal family, his military service, the Duchess' own independent profile, and the shared threat and risk level documented specifically over the last few years. No further details can be shared as this is classified information for safety reasons. Mr. Baker, a former Liberal Democrat MP, said, for the Met to have to provide full security abroad will significantly impact on their ability to look after London and Londoners. Do we want the Met's budget devoted to tackling terrorism, knife crime, assaults and burglary in the capital, or do we want them flying around the US and Canada, accompanying Harry and Meghan as they enrich themselves through their commercial activities? The Duke and Duchess plunged the royal family into a period of crisis when they announced in January they wanted to step back as senior royals and become financially independent, a move dubbed Megxit by the press. A summit of senior royals was later convened by the Queen at Sandringham to discuss the issue, with Harry sitting down for talks with his grandmother, father the Prince of Wales and brother the Duke of Cambridge. It was later announced they would give up royal duties, split their time between Canada and the UK, with the majority spent in North America, no longer be known as HRH, and their lives as working royals would end on March 31st. The couple also infuriated people earlier this week after the Queen banned them from using their Sussex royal branding. Meghan Markle and Harry cut off as Canada refuses to continue funding couple. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's hefty security bill will not be paid for by Canada after they officially step down as senior royals, the Canadian government has confirmed. Public Safety Canada threw a spanner into the works as it announced it will no longer meet the security costs for the couple who are just weeks away from their dash for freedom. The governmental department responsible for helping to maintain a peaceful society in Canada released a statement to CBC News detailing the future arrangement. They said the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been protected by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police since arriving in the country in November, but this will end in the coming weeks. The body said the Canadian government was faced with an unprecedented set of circumstances when Harry, 35, and Meghan, 38, decided late last year to spend an extended period in the Great White North. The development comes as the pair will wrap up their final royal duties with a string of engagements in the UK over the coming weeks before officially stepping down on March 31. Harry took a commercial flight from Canada to London on Tuesday while his American wife and their son Archie are expected to join him early next week. Public Safety Canada said, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex choosing to relocate to Canada on a part-time basis presented our government with a unique and unprecedented set of circumstances. The RCMP, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, has been engaged with officials in the UK from the very beginning regarding security considerations. 
as the Duke and Duchess are currently recognized as internationally protected persons, Canada has an obligation to provide security assistance on an as-needed basis. At the request of the Metropolitan Police, the RCMP has been providing assistance to the Met since the arrival of the Duke and Duchess to Canada intermittently since November 2019. The assistance will cease in the coming weeks, in keeping with their change in status. The confirmation comes after weeks of speculation over who would pay for the couple's massive security costs after they have broken ties with the royal family. Since the Queen's grandson and his wife dropped their bombshell announcement in early January, reports have suggested Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau agreed that his government would help with the security costs. But while Mr Trudeau said the country was happy to host Harry, Meghan and Little Archie for Christmas, he has never confirmed Otto would cough up for the family long term. By cutting the Sussexes off from the public purse, Mr Trudeau has avoided a financial burden which would no doubt have been met with widespread criticism at home. In January thousands of Canadians signed a petition demanding the Sussexes pay for their own security. Security for the prince and his former actress wife is estimated to cost into the millions of dollars every year. The Canadian government's announcement comes as royal fans are waiting to see Harry and Meghan make their first official appearance together since Megxit. They will celebrate the achievements of wounded servicemen and women when they attend their first joint UK event since announcing their decision to step down from royal duties. Harry and Meghan will attend the annual Endeavour Fund Awards at Mansion House in London on March 5 to honour sick and injured military who have taken part in sporting and adventure challenges over the past year. Additional reporting by Katie Harris